All right, I'm going to try to go over this in two minutes or less. This is how I am uh, filling all these buildings with levels that you're seeing here. Traditionally, the buildings in the matrix are, uh, are kit bashed together, and inside of them, they're just empty. They're hollow. And so this is how I'm doing it so I can fill them up at runtime. Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is what I'm hoping to do with the maybe something with the procedural uh, content generation that Epic's created. But here's how I'm doing it otherwise. All right, so I grab each building, that whole building there, as an actor. I grab, I go ahead and do a line trace from the center of it down to grab the bottom floor. And then from there, I do a, a line trace up to grab the roof actor, so that doesn't give me any more trouble, because uh, I deleted at the end once I've spawned my replacement floors. I then grab the bounds of all the actors that make up that building, which you could just make that be the instant static mesh building it was. I then go down here and uh, set an array, uh, a max and a min, based off those bounds, and start looping through that array, uh, incrementing for each placement in a grid throughout what would go around the uh, building. And you can turn on the, uh, the debug to see these line traces. I do each corner straight up to see if there's a roof over my head, since I, all I have on these buildings is a roof over my head and the empty uh, shell around it. If there's no roof on, or if there is a roof on all four corners, then we go ahead and spawn a, a location there. If there, at the, at the, we increment each level to go higher up, based on hitting, uh, doing a ray cast out and finding out what the kit bash piece or window for each part of the building is, uh, dimension wise. And then uh, when we're done with all that, we'll just go ahead and spawn in all those actors, and that lets us populate levels all the way up any building and i'm going to do some more things to adjust them and change it but yeah that's what we're up to thanks for checking it out cheers